the glory because we are where we are by the grace of God. Come, can you give him a good hand clap right now? are we standing here, but we're standing here with victory, yes. power, yes. under the anointing, because yes. he shares himself with us. Isn't that awesome? Yes. He shares himself with us. We can identify. Amen. I'll never forget. Amen. We were going somewhere. Amen. And, and, and I told them I'm with apostle. And when I said I was with apostle, they let me go right on through, right along with them. Amen. So if Jesus got the victory, come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh, come on, did you catch that revelation? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I can come on in the victory right along with him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because God is just that good. Yeah. Come on, meet somebody that's by you. Amen. And wish them well on tonight. Amen. 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 He's worthy of the glory and he's worthy of the praise. Amen. You might as well sit over there, Sister Lane, and that way you ain't got to reach across the aisle. But I ain't going to force you. Amen. I'm going to always tell you, touch your neighbor. Why do I always say that? Because the Bible says, I, are, are we going to stick with the Bible? Yes. See, the Bible tells us if I can touch and agree with somebody, he will be in the midst of them. That's why sometimes I tell you, touch your neighbor. Let them know, hey, hey, I, I agree with that. And with, what happens is you bring God in the midst of what we're dealing with. Yeah. Amen. And he said, okay, since they agree, it's got to happen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let me say that again. They said, since they agree, it's yeah. got to happen. Yeah. Let me say it one more time. If they agree, it's got to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So go ahead and touch and agree with somebody right now. God's going to do everything. Amen. And his word declares on you. Every promise in the book is yours. Amen. And the best is still yet to come. Come on, tell somebody right now. You ain't seen it all yet. You ain't seen it all yet. I'm excited about the yet part. Yeah, man, I'm excited about the yet part. Amen. Still haven't seen it all. Amen. And I was thinking about uh, the lesson that just before I was coming in. And, and I was dealing with the thought of healing. The oh, yeah. thought of the healing. And, and the Holy Ghost just quickened me. He said a lot of people are looking for healing, but they yes. don't bring no diligence with them. Mm -hmm. They don't bring any diligence with them. Mm -hmm. he, said, this, he said, when you look for me, when you pursue me, like a deer in hinds feet, when you, when you thirst after me. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes we, people just want their miracle just to satisfy their, yeah. their, their own individual mm -hmm. need, but they're not really seeking God. Mm -hmm. Amen? And, and sometimes you got to throw yourself in to the presence of God mm -hmm. so that the presence of God can bring healing you. in your life. Yes. This yes. casual search of God, amen, it's not going to give you what you really desire. Mm -hmm. Amen. People get sick and they, they, they cry, oh, Lord, help me, Lord, and heal me, Lord. But they don't serve him. Mm. Amen. And sometimes they fail to realize God is not just giving you giving our blessing for you to ignore him. Amen. He, 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 he wants relationship. Yes, he does. Amen. It's like a woman who says she don't want her husband just paying bills. She wants him to be a part of her life. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes, and God right. is the same way. God said, amen, I, I, I created you because I wanted to make you in my image so I could have fellowship. Yes. Amen. That you can become mine. I, I'm looking for, for you to worship me and to spend time with me. Lay your head in my yes. bosom. Let, let me love on you. Let me show you what real love is. Let me show you what the anointing feels like. Let me awaken your spirit so that you'll talk like me. You'll act like me. You'll, be, you'll move like me. You'll believe like me. Amen. Even in the midst of darkness, you'll say, let there be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down and get this but, but, but yes, we gotta, we got to get a hunger and a thirst after his righteousness. Amen. And then all the other things. He said, I never forget when I got saved and, 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 and my foundational scripture, amen, was Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these things shall be added. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Somebody say oh. All. 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 I'm not as equipped in the English language as you, but I think all means all. 
right. encompassing everything. everything. Nothing lacking, nothing coming up short. Yeah. Amen. Everything you desire, amen. When you pray, he said, I'll give it to you. Why? Because when, when we come into God, we have a lot of desires that don't line up with his will. Yeah. But as we continue to seek his face and seek his yeah. purpose, our will begins to change and begin yeah. to be in uh, uh, alignment with his word. And everything that aligns with him got to come through. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Well, he said, I'll give you the desires of your heart. Wow. Uh -huh. He ain't talking about, oh, I desire a, a multi-million dollar house. That, that might not be his will for you. That's right. But God, whatever you will for me, I, I know it is going to come to me because you promised me. Yes, it is. I mean, no, every promise in the book. I don't yeah. say it like a mom did. Every promise in the book is not. Huh? And when you start walking in that kind of confidence, when you start walking in that kind of belief, things begin to happen. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Come on, give me one more good hand clap. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to do a quick review. It's going to be real quick. Lucifer transgression against God came where? Came where? Can't hear you. In the, in, the the in the Garden of Eden when the snake entered in. I mean, when Lucifer entered into the snake and used that serpent to speak to Eve and to tempt her. Then he persuaded both Adam and Eve to eat of what? The forbidden fruit. Huh? That's when Lucifer made a transition from Lucifer to Satan. Whenever you stop walking with God, you might have been a saint. But then when you start walking with God, you become an ape. <laughs> you might still look the same, but your spirit has changed. Come on, somebody. You ever see somebody walking with God and the glow of God is on them? And then when they stop walking with God, that, that, that glow starts disappearing. Why? Because they have departed from the light. And now darkness begins to invade their lives. You can see the innocence start disappearing. Come on now. And then you start seeing the world begin to captivate their look, captivate their behavior, captivate what their words are. Amen? Because why? They have gotten out of fellowship with the light. Yes. Yes. My yes. God. Yes. Revelations 12, 3 and 4. Now, I, I sent that you know, all the scriptures out uh, a couple of weeks ago when we, we didn't do the lesson last week. But Matt, Revelation says this. It says, and when the dragon took one third of the stars and flung them to the earth. Yes. Amen. Flung them. Why? In rebellion yes. against God. Satan took one third of the angels and rebelled against God. Now, you know, these angels had to be crazy. Mm. To see the awesomeness of God in their midst and still decided to fight against God. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. You talk about a mind, listen, you talk about a mind that, that has gotten warped. You wonder how can somebody be so deceived? Well, the Bible says God will give you a spirit of deception when you don't want to obey. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And for those who would obey, look at those that don't obey and wonder how in the world could you think like that? Yes. Come on, it's foreign to a Christian mindset because we have the heart and the mind of Christ. The devil, amen, wouldn't uh, have won uh, if he had 100% of the angels. He still wouldn't have won. Amen? Because there's no, come on, just tell your neighbor, there's no failure in God. No, there's, no failure in God. there's no way Satan could even come close to winning, amen, amen, in a direct confrontation with God. That devil, to some of you all, the enemy just can't come upon you. Some of you are too strong for that. So what does he do? He starts causing yes. manipulation. Yes. He starts dealing with things that you love. He starts yes. dealing with things that's close to your heart. He starts talking to you about problems and situations. And that's the only way he can start you to thinking. Yes. That's how he did Eve. He started talking to Eve to Eve started thinking independent of what God said. Yes. And whenever you start thinking contrary to what God said, that's when the enemy starts giving inroads into our lives. Yes. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Well, we need to realize and come to an understanding that God is faithful. Come on, tell somebody, God, God is God faithful. Is However, Satan, amen, saw something in them that he did not have. 
Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, you got something that the enemy don't have. Amen. Look at that. You got authority. Come on, tell me that you got authority. Don't let the enemy fool you by observation when it might look like you're going down, you really going up. Amen. I don't know the last time the enemy ever said an encouraging word. Have you? But yet we listen to him. That, that ain't going to change. And you know what some folks say? You're right. It ain't going to never change. I've been in this thing for five minutes. <laughs> and you think things aren't going to change. But how many know God works with time? I, I, oh, I, I learned to trust in God's time. Because, see, he ain't a quick God unless it's an emergency. Amen. But when it's not an emergency and he's looking to make something last, he takes his time to unravel a whole lot of stuff. All you need is patience. And he said, you will come up wanting what? No good thing. Hit your neighbor and say, that's all you need. That's all you need. When you pray, that's all you need. That's enough to preach on right there. Amen. If, 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 if that's all you need is when you understand that God works with time. God, I don't know who I'm talking to. God works with time. Stop rushing him because you think your time running out. Stop rushing him because you've been waiting, amen, a while. Stop rushing him because you don't see no evidence. If he said it, it's already done. Yes, amen. Do I have any believers in the house? Yeah. 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 I have yeah. believers in the house, not 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 people that come and just sit in the chair. We need folks that's going to believe so that when I reach out and touch you, amen, you believe and right along with me that God can't do nothing but do what he said he's going to do. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 So we see here, amen, that the Bible says, and the angel in his power and authority was what? Conditional. No. Satan's power is conditional. That's, that, turn, turn to Hebrews. I want, I want you to turn to Hebrews right quick. Hebrews 1.13. Look at your neighbor before you go there and just tell them there's no restrictions on our authority. No, no restrictions. our power. Did you hear what you just said? No restriction, no limitation, in other words, on your power. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? No restriction. Hebrews 1 and 13 says this. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand? He did not say that to no angel. Amen. In other words, he's saying, associate it with me in my royal dignity. Mm. Sit alongside me here on my what? Throne. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. We sit where? <coughs> in heavenly places. Where? In, heavenly in Christ heavenly Jesus. Jesus. So the same authority he possesses now, we possess here in the earth. Amen. And we've got to walk in that authority. Yeah. Don't get caught up in your emotions. Don't get caught up in your feelings. Because guess what? That's how we get manipulated. Mm -hmm. Y'all can believe me after a while. Yeah. We get manipulated by the five senses that the earth has created along with the yes. fall. Yes. But if we can learn how to divorce ourselves from all the emotional arena and just believe God, we'll see a manifestation of the power of God. Mm -mm. That'll preach right there. And he said, listen, what? Until I make thy enemy thy, thy footstool. Listen to what he said. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He said, the earth is my what? Footstool. So if God says the earth is his footstool, then he said, I'm going to do what with your enemy? Make him footstool. You'll catch it after a while. That you got control and power that's unlimited. Come on, tell somebody, say, you got unlimited power. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the good news. You got unlimited power. Yeah. Huh? If you speak it, it's got to work. Yeah. If you believe it, it's got to manifest. Yeah. He said, because as I am, so are you. You went in this life. Yes. Good God Almighty. Listen to this. What he said. Are, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall what? Inherit? Amen? Uh, and be heirs of salvation. So we see here that Satan was created, amen, with what? To be the guardian and protector of Adam and Eve in the earth. Amen. Let me say that again. We covered that last time we were together. How that ministering spirits are what? For those who are be what? Heirs. 
Satan's job was to be able to help them while they were working the earth. But when he saw, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. when he saw that they had something he no longer had, mm. the entry that's inside of free will got a hold to it. Uh -huh. My God, my God, my God. Yeah. He saw that the creation of man created a fire in his heart, and he, though he was called Lucifer, he began to change. Yes. Lucifer came to the earth as an anointed angel on a divine assignment to minister to Adam and Eve. However, he saw something in them that he didn't have, and as an angel, his power and his authority, I want you to make a little note of this, his power and his authority were conditional. His power and what? Authority. Authority was conditional. Amen? Amen? Listen to this now. It says, but Adam and Eve had been given what? Un unconditional power and authority over this earth. Mm -hmm. God gave you power. Look at your neighbor and say, God's giving you that same power. Now you got to say, what you doing with it? Because the moment you start complaining, guess what? You don't believe the power. Amen. You don't believe the authority that God has given you. Huh? Will there be warfare? Yes, that's what we're talking about. This is what our series is all about. Talking about spiritual warfare. But guess what? We study the enemy so that we don't be ignorant of his devices. We know. Come on, tell somebody. I know how he operates. I know how he operates. I'm not ignorant to his devices because I've studied. Amen. I've studied. I've watched him. And I know how he does. Sometimes he'll wait till you have a down moment. Because he can't mess with you when you're all powered up. All right. Oh, all come right. on, somebody. Right. Right. When he knows you all powered up, he leaves you alone for a season. When Jesus, amen, defeated him up there in the mountain, what happened? He departed, what? For a season. Because he said, I can't mess with him right now. He's too strong. He's too powerful. He knows I'm going to be defeated. So I got to back up off him. But I know another time going to come, and I'm going to show up again. That's how he operates. He will show up again. How many, yeah, how many yeah. can testify? He yeah. do show up again. Yes, he yeah. does. But look at your neighbor and say, but when he show up, when he show up I'll already be powered up. I'll already be powered up. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Man, you gotta get power yourself up with the word of God, not dance and shout and cry and all. You gotta power yourself up with the word. Amen. My Bible tells me that when the enemy came to Jesus, Jesus didn't say, "Oh, devil, I'm hungry, but no, I no Lord, don't do it." No, he said, "It is written." It is written. Woo! When the last time you looked at your enemy and just told him, "It is written," not how you feel, not not what you're going through, but it is written. I shall be the head. And not to tell. Huh? I shall be above and not beneath. I'm healed because by his stripes, God said I'm healed. Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, you might be wrapped up with all kinds of pain, but you're going to still say what God said. You might still feel the elements of the earth, but you're going to still say what God said. Come on, tell you that you got to still say what God said. Have you ever been there? When you had to continue to keep saying what God said. Mm -hmm. But Adam and Eve, amen, had been given unconditional power over this earth. We see this in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. What does it say? He said, God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. Means power and authority. Somebody say power, power and, and authority. authority. Oh, come on, I like the way it says. Power, power. and say it like me. And, and authority. authority. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. I don't just have power, I don't just have power. I got authority. I got authority means, listen, this, this is Kimmy Anderson's interpretation. A, a power without understanding how to use it you don't have authority. Yeah. But see, when you got power and you understand how to use it, you got authority. Come on, All right. All right. Oh, anybody want to hear what the whole thing Because if you don't know how to use it, you don't have authority. Yeah. When the policeman steps out there and put his hands up, amen, guess what? He understands his power and then he what? Understands his authority. Now, he can't sit up there and oh, I, I, I hope they stop. No, he's standing up there saying, listen here, boom. And guess what? I don't know what you might have been doing. 
I don't know what you might have been doing, but when you see that hand go up, you ain't talking about something. I wish he'd get out the way. And guess what? I don't know about you, but have you ever been riding on the highway and you see the trooper come up behind you? He ain't, he ain't even thinking about you, but you feel to make sure you got your wallet and you got everything you, you need. To, and then you're looking at the speedometer and you're scrolling all back down. Come on now. You see somebody riding off fast. Amen. They zooming down the highway. As soon as they see them flash light, everybody slow down. Everybody. Because they recognize the authority. Yeah. Well, I want to tell somebody right here. When the enemy see you praising God, he said, oh, I can't mess with them. God, they're God's child. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. You don't think he, you under surveillance? All you got to do is read the book of Job. So I've been going up and down the there is and I and I, I notice I notice I notice him over there. Yeah. I can't even get close to him because you got a hedge around me. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll catch that three o'clock. Yes. There's an anointing over you. Yes. And he can only do with so much. Matter of fact, he's got to call you from long distance. Glory to God. He got he to call you from long distance. Mm -hmm. And the only way he can get close up on you is you start answering his phone call. Uh -oh. Have you ever got them robo calls? Mm -hmm. All day long. Huh? Say that again. <laughs> All day long. <laughs> All day long. Well, Satan's a robo call. All right. He'll, be, <laughs> he'll keep calling you and calling you and calling you. Listen, sometimes if he is not... <laughs> I don't know about you, but if they're not in my Rolodex and their name don't come up, you don't even answer. Right. And you know that ain't the word of God. You know that it's not what God says. Right. You ought to recognize that's a robot. Right. Right. It's a robo call. Right. Right. Satan trying to interfere with your pleasure of your day. Right. You ought to say, listen here, don't answer that call. Mm. Come on, tell you never don't answer them. Don't answer all those calls. <laughs> When God created man, he spoke and gave him, him, them dominion, power, and authority over all the earth. So you're, it's unlimited. Come on, come on, say it with me. Unlimited. unlimited. It's not geographical, geographical. Geographical. It's unlimited. You can speak a word here, send it to New Jersey, and guess what? God will move. Your child might be in Georgia, Texas, somewhere, and you spit still speak the word and say, Lord, send your word. Yes. 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 Did not the man believe God enough to say, God, if you speak yes, the word on me. Mm -hmm. yes. Woo! Oh, yes. Notice that there are no restrictions placed on them. Jesus. God said, I give you power oh, and I give you authority. Yes. He didn't put no stipulation on it nowhere. Huh? Notice that. And this, guess what? God didn't say, now, as long as you follow my leading and do what I say for you to do, I'll let you have dominion over the earth. I don't see that nowhere. No. I, don't, I don't see that nowhere. He gave him complete authority. Come on, somebody say, complete, complete authority. authority. I need to say this to somebody. When you come into the fold, when you come in and give your life to Christ, guess what? You ain't trying to do anything. No. It's already been provided. Yeah. Huh? I was cook I was cooking the other day and, and, and my wife ended up cooking too and we had too much food. And so I said, well call this one, call that one, call this one. And they all came over. And guess what? They sat down and guess what? They went over there and they started giving me a plate. They didn't ask me how much could they get. <laughs> all right. All right then. Huh? They didn't ask. You know why? Because they were in Right. Hey. They were invited. Yeah. See, when Jesus said, whosoever come, yeah. huh? He invited. Yeah. Which means you have everything he has, and you don't have to act like a servant. You are. Yeah. All right. yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I must be the only one. Who yeah. smell the food now? Yeah. Yeah. cooking or something. I smell it. Yeah. I ain't had nothing all day. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Huh? So we need to understand that God is telling us you are a part of the family and the power in which I possess, you possess. Now I need to ask you something. When Jesus was here, did he go through life with no problems at all? But he recognized something. He would go to his father in prayer. 
Bible would often say he would peel away quietly and get in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Is anybody here in the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. See, that's what I'm talking about. Diligently seeking him. Spending time with him. Sometimes we get so busy in our life, we don't have time to meditate. That's the truth. Uh -huh. Come on, we don't have time to just sit quiet. Yeah. Huh? And, and we need to put that time in so that God can heal some of the broken situations yeah. that are in our lives. Yeah. Because he goes to the root of problems. He don't, yeah. he, come on, hit your neck and say, neighbor. Yeah. He doesn't deal with symptoms. Yeah. Well, come on, tell him, he don't deal with symptoms. Yeah. He goes to the root. Yeah. Come on, yeah. symptoms will keep on rising. Yeah. But if you go to the root, oh, my. Yeah. Bring it up, Bring it up. Go to the root. The root of the matter. So when God created man, he spoke and gave them the complete authority. He said, listen here. He said, as long as you walk and do what you do, guess what? There's going to be no problem. I'll let you have dominion over the earth. No. God placed zero, come on somebody say, zero, zero. Qualifications, qualifications on their dominion. On their dominion. Zero. <laughs> now, I got these scriptures up here on this wall, up here on this TV. Because we need to investigate God's integrity. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had somebody say, child, you know what? Uh, I'm going to lend you $15 to the end of the week. <laughs> then at the end of the week, they come, man, you know, something came up. I, I couldn't do what I... See, integrity issues. You find somebody that doesn't have integrity, you need to be kind of leery of that person. Mm -hmm. Because back in the day, your word was your bond. Man has gotten so far from integrity today, everything has to be notarized. Huh? Everything has to be contractual. Let's sign a contract. I'm talking about saints now. I ain't talking about the sin. I'm talking about with saints. Because folk will give you a whole lot of lit service, but have zero integrity. Zero. And you, you, you give them your heart because you believe that you're a Christian and you believe that they're a Christian. And you say, listen, I know your word is good until... Until. And then you find that their word means absolutely nothing. Be careful of folk and their integrity. Yes. Can't trust everybody. But you can trust God. Woo. Let's look at God's integrity. Once God speaks, it's done. Somebody say, once God speaks. Once God speaks, God speaks it's God done. done. Come on, say it again. Once God speaks, once God speaks, God speaks it's done. It's done. It's done. Huh? Listen to what he says now. He never goes back on his word. Say it with me. He never goes back, never goes back, on, his back. on his word. Now, I want you to keep, I want you to burn that in your mind. I want you to burn that in your heart. I want you to burn that in your spirit so that when you face something, don't ever think God changed his mind. Because whatever he says, it has to come to pass. Amen. Every element in the earth has to make sure that what God says come to pass. Right. When Peter stepped out on the water, he didn't step out until Jesus said, come. And when Jesus said, come, everything in the elements had to make sure Peter got close to him. Yeah. The water had to turn to concrete. Yeah. And yet, under his feet, it was concrete, but the ship was still in the water. Yeah. So what he does for you don't necessarily mean he going to do for somebody else because their faith might not be where yours is. Amen. So you can't walk around judging what somebody else went through and think you got to go through the same thing because y'all are on different faith levels. Oh, that's a number. Hit that no I'm glad this is a Bible class. Woo, I'm sweating like I'm preaching. Look at this. He never goes, come on, say, he never goes back on his word. Let's look at, let's look at Psalms 89. 
I'm going to take my time with this. Psalms 8 and 9. And you know what? When I was going over this, I said, you know what? People need to make these particular scriptures we get ready to cover as memory verses. Why? Because it speaks of the integrity of God that God won't lie to you. No matter what you face, you, you, you can have the hell hounds on you. I, 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 I'm looking right now how, 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 how uh, 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 Daniel just stood in the midst of the lion's den. They hadn't been fed for like seven days. And yet, when they put him down in that hole, the lions had to obey the spirit of God that was in his life. As hungry as they were, but could not touch God's anointing. I don't care what you're going through as a child of God, if you can stand still, and see and trust the full salvation of the Lord with you. God will bring you out every time. Because he's a God of integrity. He's a God that keeps his word. He's a God that will see you through. He's a God that will stay until it's all done and said and it's well. Are y'all hearing what he says? And look at what Psalm 89 verse 34 says. My covenant I will not break nor alter the things that is gone out of my lips. If I said it, it's done. If I said it, act like you already got it. There's no, you gonna get it if he said it, you already got it. Look what the, I, I'm gonna read that same verse, but I'm, I'm reading this time in, the, in the, uh, uh, the message Bible. Listen to what it says in the message Bible. Do not think I'll ever withdraw my holy promise or take back the words I've already spoken. I've given my word, my whole and holy word. Do you think I would lie to David? David messed up, but God's word still remained the same. Yes, that's David right. fell God several times, but his word still remained the same. Yes, and then when you get into the New Testament, the Bible says, and David served his generation. Yes. Why? Because God's word kept undergirding him. When you yes. fall, God will pick you up. Yes. God will heal you. God will break. Oh, yes. God, yes. that is something. Yes. To ho Hallelujah! Yes. Thank you. Woo. Good yes. God Almighty. He will oh. not lie. He will not take back what he has said. Amen. Hebrews 1 and 3, Hebrews 1 and 3, who being in the brightness of his glory, which meaning the bright being, the outraying, all radiant of divine purpose, and the express image of his person, which talking about God's, and upholding all things by the word of his power. Yes. Good God. If God was to, amen, take back his word, the world would fall off his atlas and chaos would take over the whole planet. Yeah. But because yeah. word, God's word has been released to keep everything, and if, it, yeah. if the earth moved off its axis one little iota, an atom, things would start being destroyed. But the power of God's word keeps everything running like it's supposed to be. That's right. Huh? Come on, somebody praise him because you love him. Come on. Yeah. Huh? Expressing the image of his person. He said, upholding all things by the power of his word. When he had by himself purged our sins, that immediately tells us all, if God says, I forgive you, what you worried about what somebody else is saying? Amen. Amen. David said, against thee and thee only have I sinned. That's right. You worried about what somebody's opinion is. Folk won't forgive you. Yes, but God will. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad about that. I don't know about you. Yes, I'm glad about that. Yes, huh? about listen, that. listen. Now. Listen. He said, I, I, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of majesty on high. Jesus Christ, my Savior. Hebrews 6.18. Hebrews 6.18. Look at this. That by two immutable things, that word immutable means not transposed, no to, nor to be transferred means to be fixed and means to be unaltered and it means unchangeability. Good God Almighty. In other words, he says there's two immutable things, amen, in which it was impossible. Impossible. Come on, look at somebody in the eyeballs and just ask them, has God promised you anything? Has God promised you anything? 
Huh? Has God promised you anything? Well, you can take that to the bank because guess what? It is what God said. Woo! Because it's impossible. Someone said, it's impossible for God to lie. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead and shout if you want to. Uh, it's impossible. No, it's impossible. We might have a strong constellation who have fled for refuge to lay hope upon the hope set before us. In other words, if God said, I'm going to keep you, you got to believe he's a keeper. If you believe that he says he's a way maker, you got to believe a way has already been made. If he said he will, you already said, thank you, Jesus. My soul. I'm going to read all this for myself. Numbers chapter, Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. I got all the scriptures up there. Yeah, 23 and 19. Listen to what it said. God is not a man. That's right. Now, what does that tell me right there? I don't believe half the stuff folk tell you. Don't believe everything. Like I told you the other day, that call I got, I said, oh, I was excited. Wasn't going to tell nobody, but I. Uh -huh. <laughs> but my confidence is not in what he said. Not in what she said. My confidence is in what God said. Because man is subject to change. Be with you today, curse you out tomorrow. Come on, somebody. We'll be on power today and lie on you tomorrow. So you got to put your confidence in God. Let me tell you something. I don't know why I'm saying this. Learn to put complete confidence in God and only hear half of what folk tell you. Because what that does is that will stop you from ever Getting totally irate and upset because somebody didn't do what they said they were going to do. You, 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 you prevent yourself from a heart attack. You, for, you, you prevent yourself from shooting somebody. Because I've been angry enough to stay a man of God. <laughs> God is not a man. Mother, Mother Gloria will tell it anyway, but I might as well tell it while I'm on this part about it. Mother, Mother Gloria rung the bell today. And uh, when she rang the bell, I was in the sanctuary and I was back there in the audio booth. And, and she rung the bell and so she said, she said something, but I didn't hear anything she said. And so when I came through the door, I saw a figure and immediately my foot went up and I... <laughs> My, my, I almost took a head. I was about to take a head off. I, I was amazed myself that my foot went that high. I thought I didn't have it no more. And I was up in the air. I was getting ready to grab her head. And she said, Pastor. I said, but I was on it. <laughs> She just laughed and laughed. She said, but she laughed. I said, you thank God you could laugh. You wasn't going to be pretty. <laughs> I, I was shocked myself. My foot, I mean, my foot was up there. Good God, my. That adrenaline can do something for you. No weapon formed against you. Come on, somebody. All right. Huh? All right. So you, you, you understand that you guard yourself. You guard yourself because... People will lie to you. People will take advantage of you. And especially when they know that you're kind. Come on now. There is a man. There's sometimes people can see God's giftings on you. Did not Laban see the giftings on uh, Jacob? And, and didn't want him to leave out of his presence. So that he could get everything that he wanted. Never mind what Jacob needed. That's right. He said, I'm a man that shall, cannot lie. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Yeah. Have he said, now look at three people around you and say, has God promised you something? Yeah. Come on. If, if he promised you something, why are you flipping out? Why are you worried? Why are you stressing out? If you pray for something to happen, why do you keep complaining? Yeah. I've learned. Y'all, you're going to listen to your leader today. Mm -hmm. I've learned. The less I complain about a situation, the better I feel. Yes, yes. See, the enemy wants you to get upset by the words you hear because guess what? Faith coming by what? Hearing. And hearing by what? The word. Don't you know 
frustration and aggravation comes the same way? Yeah. You keep talking about the bad problem. You keep talking about the situation. You keep talking about bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Mm -hmm. and, and you fail to realize all you're doing is feeding yourself the it's worry so. and the tension mm -hmm. of your situation. Mm -hmm. But if you learn how to speak the word only what God says, yes. see, yes. complaints will stop because you have confidence in Christ. Yes. 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 Oh, you're going to get that revelation someday. Yes. Someday you're going to get that. We're going, what the, why are you ain't never come talking about your problems? I mean, it don't even seem like I got none. Don't. You know why? Because I don't talk about it. I know they're there. I know situations are there. I don't have time. Oh, man. That's right. I don't have time to talk about something I have no control over. That's right. All right. Amen. That's right. I don't even want to talk about stuff that's going to take me to where I'm trying to go. All right. Amen. I wish somebody get the revelation. Yes, yes, Stop yes. talking about all the oh, my stuff. Because I'm convinced that God can't lie. That's I'm right. his child. Amen. And he causes things that work for my faith. Yes. Huh? Yes, yes. Because the Bible, listen now, the Bible says all things work together for them that love. The Lord. Wait a minute. Love. The Lord. Love. The Lord. Now the only way a situation that I'm facing is not going to work out for my good because I have a problem with loving God. Mm. If I don't have a, if I don't have a problem loving God, I don't care what I'm facing. God gonna work that thing out. Yes. So why am I gonna complain about something God is already working out? Right. Y'all gonna get it after a while. You gonna get it after a while. Well, I'm looking at some of y'all faces and it looks like a question mark. You still trying to figure out should I keep, should I continue to keep on complaining? What has it gotten me? You don't hear me talking about situations. Oh, wait, sometimes, is everything all right? I say yes. In the back of my mind, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> huh? But you know what? My confidence is not in my ability. Uh-oh, here we go now. See, you have to get to that place where you don't have, you got to understand, you don't have the control. You don't have that kind of authority. You, the only authority you have is keeping yourself at peace. Yes. Because yes. I'll keep you in <laughs> See, see, you're going to believe this Bible after a while. Yes. See, I, I, I'll keep you in peace if you keep your mind. Stay Wait a minute, where? Stay Come on, say it again. Stay so if you complain, that must be your mind. Stay oh, my God. Give yourself a head clap for the right hand. <laughs> so what? I'm still reading the scripture. Neither the Son of Man that he should repent. Have he said? Shall he? Oh, good God, God. Shall he not do it? Or have he spoken? And shall he not make it good? How can I complain? When I understand what he said. Come on, look at your neighbor's and neighbor. Yeah. Keep checking out God's integrity. Keep checking, out. Keep, keep, keep checking it out. See, you, you check out his you check out his integrity, you'll find it, he don't lie. Nope. Can I give you a real good one? Nope. God said the ch children of Israel. He said no. No, he don't lie. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. God said the children of Israel. He prophesied the children of Israel gonna go through four hundred years of bondage. Man, God. That's, that's what he said. They prayed, they cried, they did all those kind of things. But guess what? After four hundred years, they came out of bondage. Mm. Why? Because God spoke it. Yes, yes, yes. See, 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 if you get off, look at your neighbors and neighbors. Yeah. If you get off your time clock, you're going to watch God move. You're going to give God a praise. Yeah. 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 Get off your time clock. Yeah. See, you get frustrated because you, you time it. Yeah. You get upset because you, yeah. you begin to worry, don't you? <laughs> you keep trying to time God. Well, God, I, I, you, you, you ought to have come through now. But see, when you understand, take that Mickey Mouse off your watch and just learn how to be confident in Christ Jesus. Yes. Is this helping anybody? Yes. Huh? You got to understand, God means what he says. He said what he means. Stop trying to time God. He's not stacked concerning his promise as some men count slackers. But he's long-suffering. 
He hurts when you hurt. Oh, man. He hurts when you hurt, but he knows that some of your hurt is good for you. Yes. Yes. Huh? Some of that stuff you're going through is good for you. Because it's strengthening you. Without resistance, you'll get no muscles. Oh, man. I done ran over my time. Didn't seem like it. Don't tell me. <laughs> Let me finish this little part here. The integrity of God is to make the universe consistent and hold together. The integrity of God's word, God is what makes the universe consistent and hold together. Yes. If God at any moment stopped being consistent with his word, the earth and everything in it would fall apart. Mm -hmm. But because he is absolute authority and power. There is no failure in God. Come on, somebody say, no failure in God. God will not violate what he has said. Come on, say it with me. The God will not violate what he has said. Tell me one more time. God will not violate what he has said. So when he told Adam and Eve, you have dominion. You have power and authority over this earth. You rule it. You subdue it. It's under your control. He meant what he said. God gave them dominion and they had the power. I'm going to stop right there. Give God a good hand clap if you got it. If he said it, he meant it. And God is not a schizophrenic. 